Hey, what's up you guys? Shardmas Prime here doing a Transformers reveal video. And I wanted to talk about some Transformers figures that have already been revealed, uh, but I haven't had a chance to talk about them. And uh, I wanted to take a look at this Cheetor figure here, or Cheater, but this Cheetor figure over here, uh, I am pretty excited about this figure. And it wasn't until I actually saw a Prime vs. Prime's video talking about this thing where I noticed that the colors are off. And I didn't really pick up on that at first. And I was like, oh yeah, that's not as accurate as it looked from the trailer. But at first glance, I was so stoked about it that, hey, you know, I couldn't help but just get pumped to have this Cheetor. And I, I still really want it, but I didn't notice at first that there were some you know miss uh, uh, uh some misfiring with the color choices i think but i still think it looks very cool anyway if you are trying to pick this up though you can do so big big big, big. get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below then here's looking at the robot mode again, and I do think it looks pretty solid. I, I am genuinely excited for it, I have to say, but I do realize that it does have some imperfections already. And um, yeah, the fact that I almost mi that I almost missed that, like it, it makes me feel uh, like a piece of garbage, man. I'm, I'm so mad at myself. But no, for real, I still like how the figure looks, and I definitely want it. And then they also revealed Scourge uh, the other day. Scourge. Scourge, yeah, Scourge from the Transformers Rise of the Beast movie, and this looks awesome, oh my god, I love the design over here, very, very cool looking, uh, really skinny legs, but we get some good ankle pivot, like some good deep ankle pivot, and having ankle pivot on my Transformers makes me happy, you can also see some nice wear on it, and it looks like it has some, uh, you know, some dirt and everything all over, by the way, these Transformers are going to be pretty expensive, I think this one's like 55 bucks, I think Cheetor is going to be like 40 bucks or something like that. They're not going to be cheap at all, but man, they look sick. And I am genuinely excited for the Rise of the Beasts movie. So what can I say, man? I'm going to pick them up. I got to because I'm stoked for them. Because I want them. I really do want them. So uh, I love how it has paint going throughout most of this vehicle mode. So I think that is just really, really cool. And then uh, the big drops for today were the Transformers Legacy Evolution figures. And I am not familiar with all of these, uh, or all of these characters over here. You know what I mean? Now, uh, uh, Crash, um, Crash Bar, I think is from the 86 movie. No, I mean, I think he's one of the Junkions. He looks like a Junkion. I, I don't know the character too much off the top of my head, but I thought he was a Junkion just at first glance. And it looks like he's going to have a whole bunch of interchangeable parts so you could swap them around and, and do different things with them. And, you know, I think that's cool. This is one I'm probably going to pick up. Uh, I only have uh, Rekgar, and I think there was another, yeah, there, there was another Junkie on that they released, but there's the motorcycle mode right over there, and it looks pretty solid, you know, I can see the feet in the back of it, which, yeah, irritates me, but for the most part, yeah, I want this figure, I, I do think it looks cool, and you can see, uh, god, that foot behind the seat is just horrible, though, that, that bugs me, I'm not gonna lie, that really bugs me, but robot mode looks really good. And you have the feature where you can swap the parts around. And then we have crank K or a cross cross cut over here. Sorry. I don't need this figure. I actually recently sold a cross cut that I've owned from a long time ago. And uh, this is a repainted skids figure, which is fine. You know, cross cut and skids. Yeah, they share the same body and everything. So that's cool. Different head sculpt. Uh, I guess slightly different accessories. But I don't need this figure, you know. But it looks all right i feel like it's supposed to be a little bit more silver than a flat gray but you have to wait till you actually see it in hand and those tires like the hubcaps need paint on them i hate it when they don't do that because it makes it look cheap especially that front tire right there Ugh, damn the alt mode looks or the robot mode looks pretty good though but yeah the alt mode then we have the core class grimlock i'm not too big on the core class figures i do have a few of them but um yeah and there's one that i'm going to talk about later on that i will order but when they're meant to be smaller, I like to pick them up when they're small. And look at that Grimlock. I mean, his tail looks awful to me. So I'm not going to pick up the Grimlock. It, it, it's, I, I'm fine passing. Then we have Evolution. Uh, who the hell is this? Uh, this is Metal Hawk. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm not familiar with Metal Hawk. Uh, he looks like he's part of the, the whole, like the Victory Saber part of the franchise. Like the post-Transformers, 
you know, U.S. and the continuation of the Japanese stories. So I think that's what he's from. I'm not 100% sure, but looks cool. Pass for me right now, but doesn't look too bad, you know. So if you're interested, you can get it. If uh, you don't want this figure, then you could easily just not get it. But the alt mode looks pretty good. Nice streamlined looking jet. Can't see too much bulk underneath it right there. Look how low to the ground those wings are. So it's looking pretty good to me, man. Can't really complain too much about it. Aside from me not being familiar with the character, but you guys know I love my red and blues. So red and blue, two favorite colors. And this is one that um, I might get depending on how the bank account looks. Anyway, here we have Nemesis Prime. And, uh, you know, uh, repainted Optimus as always. We don't really need this. If you're into the core class figures, then yeah, you're going to want to get one. But for me, I'm going to pass on this one. Doesn't look too bad, but not great enough. I don't like those gray parts right there on the side. That looked bad. But anyway, there he is in his robot mode. And then we have, uh, is this a Deluxe Prowl? I think this is the animated, Transformers animated Prowl. Just going off the top of my head over here, that's what it looks like. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's the animated Prowl. And that figure looks all right to me. Definite pass. I'm not collecting animated figures. I did have some and I sold them. Ooh, new email. But uh, I think he looks actually pretty cool. Does look cool. If you're into it, you can get it. If you don't want it, you can easily pass. But that's a better uh, motorcycle than that Junkion figure that we saw earlier. So cool. You know, I like that golden, the golden black look really good together on this guy. So I think that is pretty, pretty nifty looking alt mode right there. But it's definitely a pass for me. And the robot mode looks pretty good too. And then we have a deluxe shrapnel and i i did pass on the kickback figure shrapnel looks cool kickback looks cool but i like having my insecticons all small and i have like my legends class or my core class insecticons so i'm good like i don't need to get these all bigger i mean i could if i really really wanted to but i don't really and i don't know maybe later on i might change my mind but for right now that's a solid pass for me and uh, I think it's cool that they're continuing on. We just need Bombshell. Yeah, she's a bombshell. Oh, yeah. Hey, what band is that from? Uh, I'll love you forever if you know. And then uh, I think we have oh, we have a couple other reveals over here. Let's skip it. Hey, there we have. Oh, yeah. Um, this is from Transformers Prime. Uh, this dude, I think Skyquake, right? Yeah, Skyquake. And this looks pretty rad. I don't know. This one... I can't get, because I'm not collecting my Transformers Prime figures anymore. I've sold a whole bunch. But, damn it, this figure looks cool. Damn it, it looks so cool. Wow. I, don't, I, I'm, I want to get it. And I know it's going to be one of those ones that I'm going to get and not really have a place for them on the shelf anywhere or anything. But I think, it, look how streamlined that jet mode looks. I think it looks pretty sweet, man. Yeah, I mean, there's the gun stuff at the bottom, but still, you know, the cockpit opens up. The robot mode looks really cool to me. I like the translucent plastic on the figure. So, yeah, that, this is one that I wish I can get. And then we have Core Class Thundercracker, and definitely I am getting this. I have the Core Class Skywarp and Starscream. I, I, have, I have a fascination with the Seekers. I got to get them all. I can't help myself. So, definitely, I'm getting the, uh, the Thundercracker over here, even though... Uh, Skywarp didn't come with Null Rays, if I remember right. That was really annoying. And does this Thundercracker only come with the one Null Ray? Am I tripping? He should come with two. What the hell? And then we have, not Blaster, but, um, I think this is the Diaclone version twin cast over here, right? I, I think that's what this is based off of. Once in a while, I do like to pick up the Diaclone versions of these figures. And, uh, yeah, twin cast over here actually does look pretty cool. It's not Blaster, but twin cast. Fairly certain this is just from Diaclone, uh, and, you know, it's it's a repainted figure. Easy pass for a whole bunch of people, but if you really want this character, or you want this, I don't, I don't know if, I don't remember, I don't know if he's from comic books or what. Again, from what I know, looks like a Diaclone, but looks all right. Pass for me. Yeah, definitely pass for me. I don't know. I wish the red parts were blue, but I... Again, I'm not really too familiar with this version. So, yeah, that's it. And he does come with a cassette right there, too. So that's pretty neat, too. It comes with one of the uh, rewind, or I think that's a rewind. But anyway, I want to know what you guys think. Let me know. Whoa, yeah. So let me know in the comment section below what you're most excited for. I'm all over the Transformers Rise of the Beast figures. I can't help myself. Uh, with those, I'm definitely getting. Skywarp, I'm, I'm going to pre-order. I already did pre-order. And, um... 
the sky warp i meant thundercracker and i told you guys the ones i'm getting already right i'm gonna pass like most of them i'm not really gonna get but i do think they're all pretty cool looking figures and um you know so unfortunately like i'm not that ex oh yeah the junkion one is one that i definitely have to get so the rise of the beast figures the junkion i don't even know the name of those are the ones I'm most interested in, but I'm curious to know what you guys are most excited for. Please let me know in the comment section below. And if you liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Should have more Marvel Legends coming to the channel soon, so stay tuned for that. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, I'm sure I'm Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.